Hey guys, and welcome back to Crow Country. When we last left off, we discovered the little root system that was going on down deep below this place. And yeah, um, they found some kind of natural but not organic root underground. And well, they've been harvesting it. And this is um, what we've seen here. All these tubes and uh, spheres of gold everywhere. There's certainly um, something deeply wrong with this land. Anyway, we're not going to worry about that. We need to go to the theatre. But before we go to the theatre, do you remember there was one... Oh, actually, I don't think we can go in there that way. But do you remember there was one secret that we still had left to find? And it was in the toilet. And we have... Wait, was the toilet there? That wasn't the toilet, was it? That was the... Yeah. There was a pile of bones blocking the way and I forget where that was it also looks like there's the fairy there's the mushroom there's the theater I do hate this corridor I'm always lost in this corridor I don't know why it's pretty <laughs> pretty basic yep yeah. ah hello who might you be with a pink bicycle? Excuse me, miss. You really shouldn't be wandering around here. Why not? It's not safe. Would you like me to escort you out? Are you a police officer? Police Detective Harrison James. Oh. I was supposed to be here hours ago, but some kid broke into my car this morning. Little punk slashed my tires, too. They look okay to me. No, they slashed my car tires. I had to borrow the bike because I couldn't use my car. Oh, right, duh. Yeah, that's interesting. You have a girl's bike, sir. I probably can't say that these days. I didn't catch your name. All oh, right, sorry, I'm Mara. Ah, so that's your car out front, the 85 Fiesta. Yeah, how did you know? I met your boyfriend. He said he was waiting for you. Oh, my God. He's not my... <sighs> Never mind. It doesn't matter. <laughs> You're blushing. No, I'm not. Shut up. Actually, Mara, maybe you can help me. I was supposed to meet with a woman. A Miss Natalie Crow. You haven't seen her around, have you? Uh, as far as I know, she's early 20s, blonde hair. You know, we're going to tell him. Because we may as well. Yeah, I saw her. She was in the staff hallway outside Edward Crow's office. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. I need to go find Miss Crow, but I'm going to ask you to go back to your car, okay? It's not safe here. You need to go home. Sure. I was just on my way out, more or less. Glad to hear it. You be safe now, okay? Hmm. Well, surely... I really didn't think he was going to show up. Well, surely he should recognize Mara and Mara should recognize him. They're both cops, right? Probably from the same sort of area. Hmm. Anyway, probably not important. Right, so now we can actually... Go into the toilet. Yes, that's what we were doing. Uh, after being so rudely interrupted, I actually forgot. So, there's the train room. And here is the toilet. And we're going to get our final secret of the game. Hey, buddy. Now, there's no need to be like that. I said no need to be like that, friend. We're all friends here. It's a toilet. There's something in there, but I can't get at it. 
is blocked by a pile of old bones. Well, let's use our acid. I think the bones are melting. What's that? It's a box of magnum ammo. And there we have it. 15 of 15. Okay. Now, whilst we're in this neck of the woods, we might as well go and get stocked up on handgun bullets. Just because. And I guess we can go and check on our boyfriend's quote. Definitely going to need a few more bullets where we're going. All right. See you later, buddy. Don't die in my car or anything, will you? Now, let us go. I suppose, really, we should be going to... Yeah, we need to go to the theatre, actually. And the best way to get to the theatre... would be going through the haunted hilltop. Yep. All right. Easy enough. And then we can go through the Iron Maiden... Hopefully there's nothing gribbly spawned in here. Oh, well, we look okay. Now, we shot the head off the um, mermaid statue that was in the theater. But we still need to do something else. Oh, hello. I always forget about you. You really should put a bullet in your brain. But, you know, I'm a nice guy. Now, we actually have stopped the electric there. We just can't get inside yet because we still need the golden key. The golden key. And there is our mermaid friend. It's a block of resin. There's something trapped inside. I can't move it. I'll have to try something else. Now, really, I should have examined her before... Um, I shot her head because we get a nice little dialogue of Mara apologizing that she's going to have to blow its head off. Oh, there's someone on the phone. You're done. Come on, you gribbly little bastard. All right, he's chilled out now. He's relaxing. That's fine. Ooh. Right, let's get you. You are a little bit more on the weaker side, but... Hmm. Come on, baby. One in the dome. Right between the eyes. He's done. See what I mean? Even though we're at long range, we still seem to be doing a perfectly reasonable amount of damage. Alright, who's on the blower? Hello? Crow. So it was Crow all along. We knew that. Natalie, my daughter, she's here, isn't she? Yep, she's looking for you. She filed a missing persons report with the police. I told her not to. I thought I'd convince her not to. Listen, can you get her out of here? Get her to leave now. Mr. Crow, she got hurt. She was attacked. I see. Mmm. He's gone. Well, never going to complain about having too many handgun rounds in this game. Ooh, hello. In this game. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. You pile of puke. I noticed the Seven Seas Mermaids use the same kind of battery as the giant crow. Not a great idea. Those kinds of batteries aren't waterproof. Those mermaids are going to need constant maintenance. Hmm, okay. I think that's a walking stick. It's stuck. Oh, it's not stuck anymore. I hope nobody needed to use that stick. Me too, Mara. Me too. All right, we can't carry any more shotgun shells. Really? Oh, damn. That's unfortunate. You know what we can carry more of, though? Hang on, bullets. Right, give me them. So.
so it's a tank. It's full of water. Well, let's put the water and mix acid in. Yes. Now we have just what we need to melt the resin. It's connected to a pipe. Yes, it is. And at last, we shall have access to the final key. That should be enough. It's the golden key. I should be able to get it out. It's still stuck. Pull harder, woman. Pull harder. It's the fairy. It's the fairy. It's done. I don't feel good about it. It's just a fairy, Mara. It's not real. It's just a wooden model. Okay. Now we have the golden key. Oh, hello. Look at that. It's a rather large dude carrying a piece of the root. Not really sure why he has a piece of the root. I guess it doesn't matter. He's dead now. Crow moved the electric battery charge. Yeah, we've read that. Alright, let's go into his office and finally try and get some answers. Alright, Crow. Open up. God damn son of a bitch. He's not here, is he? We don't want the shotgun shells. We've already full up. Man, look at this place. Med kits. There are so many med kits. I don't need any. Hello. You know, I never had a plan for all the gold. In fact, it quickly became a problem. We couldn't sell it, basically. Not without arousing a lot of unwanted attention. We had too much of it too quickly, and the shape, those cylinders. Well, it's not the normal process, is it? But then I had an idea. What if it was the normal process? Or what if we pretended it was? So Marvin and I devised a plan. We just needed a site, a disused gold mine. Marv found one in South America, in Brazil. And you know what? It worked. For a while, at least. Hmm, he's gone. It's a television. Every few moments, something flashes up onto the screen. I wish it wouldn't. And look, there's more of this gold piled everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. They must have had mountains of the stuff. Okay. Uh, Emory University. In recognition of the completion of the prescribed course of study, Edward L. Crow has been admitted to the degree of biochemistry. Ha. Huh. It's a handwritten letter. Hey, Ed. We didn't pass the inspection. They figured out that the ore is homemade. The Brazilian authorities want to know where the gold is really coming from. This is getting too dangerous. I'm coming back to Georgia. See you soon, Marv. Oh dear. It's a blackboard. Control room elevator switch number code. My first is in Grinia, but also Goblin. My second is in Guest, but not in Puddle or Spindle. My third is in Lumber and Goblin, but not in Puddle. My fourth is notably notable only by its absence. Oh. I'm sure we can work that out. It's a photograph. There's Mr. Crow and his daughter. There's something strange about the frame. Ah. Would you look at that. She's quite beautiful. It's entirely made of gold. Jacqueline Crow, 1948 to 1982. Beloved wife and mother. Press a left or right to switch slides. Turn it off. Read slide. Ah, guest. File number 3762 guest. Emerged at around 50% root excavation. 
It varies from specimen to specimen, but they largely retain a human-like appearance. Most distressing, they're capable of limited non-verbal form of vocalization. Oof. Goblin. Emerged at around 55% root excavation. Despite their small stature, I have concluded that they are not infants. On the contrary, they may be a senior variant of the guests. Their advanced age causing a weaker genetic makeup, which has diminished their anatomy upon emergence. Mm. Spindle. Emerged at around 60% root excavation. Much of their muscle and fat is missing, but their bones have become elongated. However, the bone mass is spread more thinly, and consequently the bones are brittle. Additionally, without sufficient flesh as cushioning, their joints are weak. Ha. Huh. Press left. Yep. Lumbar. Emerged at around 60% root excavation at the same time as the spindles. Here the opposite phenomenon can be observed. The lumbars are stiff and stout with excessive muscle and fat. Perhaps this could explain why the spindles have insufficient flesh. Grinner. Emerged at around 70% root excavation. The form is bipedal, but other similarities to a human body are quickly disappearing. In terms of anatomy, each specimen is vastly different from the next. Puddle. Emerged at around 80% root excavation. I pray this is my final entry, for I cannot imagine how anything beyond this point would be capable of emergence. The puddles experience widespread cell necrosis. They are quite literally melting. Ha. Huh. Interesting. So, these things were coming out of the pool. And the more of the root they extracted, the more monstrous they became. Interesting indeed. So we can't carry any more of that. And there is the root as they found it. It's squirming back and forth. Is it alive? We may never know whether it is or not. Oh. Hello. Hi, Natalie. How are you feeling? Not great. Yeah, me either. Is it your mother? Yes. She died some time ago. I'm sorry. It's a beautiful statue. It's solid gold. Yeah. It must have been really expensive. Your dad really spared no expense, I guess. Did you find him yet? Mr. Crow? No, not yet. Yeah, spared no expense, Mara. They, they literally have more gold than they know what to do with. I'm still looking for your father. But I have a pretty good idea of where he is. I just need to take the central elevator. Mara... What are you going to do when you find him? I need to talk with him. Are you going to kill him? What? No, of course not. Don't think I don't see that gun in your hand. I see it in your face too. You've already made up your mind. Natalie. I know he's done bad things, very bad things. Perhaps he's beyond forgiveness. But please, don't kill him. Bring him to me, okay? Let me speak to him. One way or another, today might be my last chance. Please, Mara. Okay. Well, I think we can do that. Uh, and I think that's everything. More gold ore. Right, well, a bit of a shorter episode. Well, no, we're kind of on almost on 20 minutes. But considering we're right here by a save spot, we might as well make use of it. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.